Yo, what's up everybody, it's boy Jed here, and the Tales of Franchise has been going on for a very long time, and it's full of lots of different games with lots of different stories. Some good, some bad, and the most recent game in the franchise, Tales of Arise, is terrible and falls into the bad camp as it fails at numerous aspects. But there's one specific aspect I want to talk about, and that's the game's failure as a mystery. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. Let's talk about it, shall we? Tales of Arise is a story about various things, segregation, love, oppression, and so on. But one aspect of the game has that I don't see get talked about much is the mystery aspect. The mystery comes in the form of the game's main character, Elfin, in his past, as he doesn't remember anything about his past, not even his name, until the very end of the prologue where part of his mask breaks, his eyes glow, and he remembers his name. Part right through the game, you get another moment of his eyes glowing where the game's main villain, Volrin tries to kill Shion. Alfin gets a surge of energy and a strange crest mark even appears in the sky. Then once more where his mask fully breaks and he finally gets all his memories back. Where it's revealed Alfin is from 300 years in the past and that he not only has ties to the Renans but was directly responsible for the event that resulted in the city of Lenegus being destroyed many years ago. Now, here's why the mystery of it all doesn't work, and it's kind of the smoking gun for it all, and it's the fact that Elfin's eyes glow. Why is it the kill, you ask? Well, because the game establishes very early on, and is consistent with this throughout the entire game, is that only Renan's eyes glow. Meaning the only way Alfin can have glowing eyes is if he has some connection to the Renans. It also doesn't help that there are times where you get small flashbacks into Alfin's past, making it clearer and clearer as the story progresses that he has connections to the Renans before you even get to the point where you learn about Alfin's past. Meaning it's not hard to piece together the full mystery of Alfin's past because they played it straight. Now while this wouldn't be a problem in its own right, it is a problem for the mystery they try to play it as, because it playing it straight effectively kills your mystery at its inception. No good mystery sets its cards on the table right out the get-go. A good mystery sets multiple things up at once that can serve as a possible conclusion in order to hide the true solution, basically hiding it in a crowd of things while also making it a bit more noteworthy. And as the mystery progresses, you start to see more and more of the cracks, making it clearer and clearer as you progress what the truth of it all is until you get to the breaking point where you reveal the truth of the mystery. And I'd say the worst part about the obviousness of Alfin's non-mysterious past is that there was such a simple solution that could have been implemented early in the game to make it a bit less obvious. And when I say early, I really do mean early, as in like chapter one, the start of the game early. That's how early they could have implemented this fix, and they would only have to add one thing to one character to do it. And here, take Renwell and make her eyes glow. See, the reason why it's that simple is because Rinwell is seemingly the last Donnan mage, and the Donnan mages use astral arts, which includes Rinwell, and since we learned that Renan's eyes glow when using astral arts, having another group of people whose eyes glow when using astral arts would allow for more room for speculation and make it a little less obvious he has a very clear connection to the Renans off the fucking rip. And really the only thing you'd have to change about her story is just have the rest of the Don Mage's eyes glow. I mean they already were disliked due to their usage of astral arts, so having their eyes glow as well would even add more to it because now they have something in common with the Renans, the very people the mages hate. A good writer could even turn into a thing with Renan's flip flopping racism and her friendship with Shion, but that's a whole other can of worms that I'm not even going to get into. Then again, a good writer could have also written Tales of Rise with a good story anyway because god it fills in basically every aspect. It fails as an anti-discrimination story, it fails as a love story, it fails as a story about coming together, and it fails as a mystery. This game is genuinely not good. The music isn't that good, the gameplay is mediocre at best with some terrible bosses. The only positive thing I can say about the game is the visual aspect, because genuinely the art for this game is amazing. But other than that, I can't recommend this game at all. 
If you want to play a Tales game, play Tales of Graces. It's on the PS3 and Wii. Play Zillia on the PS3. Play Destiny on the PS2. Play Tales of Abyss on the PS2 and 3DS. If you want to play a Tales game on water consoles, play Vesperia. It's on Xbox, PS4, and PC. Hell, I'd even recommend Briseria and Zestiria over this game. Because for as flawed as those two games are to me, there's enough fun to be had with them that at least I can recommend you give them a try. If you want a good Tales game about segregation and discrimination, check out Tales of Rebirth on the PS2 or PSP, or Tales of Tempest on the DS. If you want a good Tales game with a romance, play Tales of Hearts on the PS Vita or DS, or Tales of Destiny 2 on the PSP. Don't play this game, it's not good. And I usually don't like being negative on this channel, but, but this game is genuinely just that bad. There's so little positive I can say about this game. And it sucks because this game has the potential to do some really solid, be overall pretty solid. But because it tries to do a million different things at once, it falls short in every aspect. And everything it tries is done better by previous games. As the saying goes, the man who catches the the man who chases two rabbits catches neither. Why was it so hard to say? <laughs> really, that's kind of this whole game's life in a nutshell. Oh, and the DLC makes things even worse, but that's a whole other kind of worms that you couldn't even pay me enough to talk about. But with all that being said, I'm I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm done talking about this game. Maybe I'll talk about other Tales games in the future. Maybe I won't. We'll see. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, you can tell me how much I suck as both a YouTuber and a VTuber in the comment section down below. Peace out and enjoy yourself. Wondering just how long is death from birth? I just like a burning piece of cures all the life of thoughts in my mind. Man, I need a purse. Southside choppers, blasting with the rod. Keep me on the edge till the brother getting locked up. Sparked up lighter, chilling with the rider. Off the edge till the brother getting locked